Aloha! Welcome to Seniors Living in Paradise. And we're going to begin this program with a beautiful, beautiful dish created by my movie star over here, Batman. I tell you, Batman, you know, it's already April. Yes. So what? Uh, April 8th. By the way, Batman. Yes. You're the best looking girl, better than Angela Jolie. <laughs> April Fools! April Fools! She I got you. She was getting all thrilled over okay. here. Okay, Ben Ann. I was going to tell you, you look skinny, but <laughs> April Fools. Oh my okay, gosh. go ahead. Right. What are we going to do today? We're going to do something a little bit different, yeah? Okay. So this is all like Mexican, Mexican oh. stuff. But Mexican. it's Nori's Mexican. So well, we you know, this is made locally. Yes, yeah, that's man, why we get that. Really good. We made this, you know. This is my new thing. Yeah. This is Nori's smoked kalope. So wow. we did this with the shoyu, the smoked shoyu that we smoke, right? Yeah. Naturally. And in that way, it's less carcinogens than normal. So all this is, is we soaked it and we put a rub on it. Okay, we leave it for two days. When you say put a rub, what is that? Nori's rub. Oh, okay. so, and then we bake it. Okay. And we roast it, you know, and then wow. we tear it off with a fork wow. and voila. This wow. is what we have, but this is a new, new thing that we're making at Nori, so it's really good. Try. It's not salty. Mm. Oh, yeah, this you, is on already. Can you take this? Can you taste the salt on the smoke? No, yeah, I can taste the smoke. Right. And it's not overpowering. It's not salty. Very it's good. Just right. All right, good. You okay. serve this on your di man menu. We just started this. It's going to be as an appetizer. What? Can you turn that on for me? Sorry. I was going to do that, but I always have him do it just in case the thing pops. <laughs> I know. Okay. You got it? Okay. Yep. We're going to warm that up. So I got guacamole. Okay. Got guacamole spread. Guacamole. I can't make it because it's too much. Yeah, okay. you know what? You can buy them. You can yeah. buy the guacamole. Way better and it stays better, yeah? Yeah. Okay. My, I make my own. Okay. Yeah. And then we got the poi. Oh, wow, local poi. Everybody yeah. loves poi, right? Yeah, that's right. So we're making a different twist on this, that's okay. why. So I have two cheeses. One is cheddar and the other is mozzarella because it melts really good. Cheese. Better. Cheese. Okay. okay. Now two jalapenos. Oh. This one is fresh. So oh, you got the fresh one. Yeah, I guess I should have left the seed in because you know they No, you you. put the seed in this bag. Yeah, muha. No, but when you use the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want the seed in. Oh. God, yeah, I yeah, wasn't yeah. even thinking okay, about okay, that. Okay, okay, nothing. Okay, but anyways, yeah. this is the best part, okay? And then I got some red pepper, but I only okay. do that for the color. Okay. Okay, so wait, while, is it hot? Yeah. Okay, this, yeah. is, this is the second part, so just leave that inside. You're gonna watch that, all right? Okay, yeah, I put okay. it inside the frying pan. Okay, so these are our two nachos. This is what we've yeah. been doing. Yeah. So we're gonna put like this. Oh, and wait, while that's going on, I'm gonna have this. We're supposed to have the melted cheese, but you have to eat the other cheese, okay? okay? So that's the Kalua pig, okay? This is the pickoff. So the salsa, we made lomi salmon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah. idea, right? Yeah, good idea. Okay, so lomi salmon, and I put the jalapenos. You see these tiny little jalapenos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it inside to wow. make it pretty, wow. right? So we're gonna put it right on top. Wow. All right. Whoa, look good, yeah? Oh. Look good. Oh. And, and in between, we had this, okay? Oh. Wow. Okay, wait. Oh. You gotta turn it over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was. Hey. Oh, oh. I, 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 watch, I go watch. I go watch. I go watch. Your watch. Stuff. I go watch. Okay. okay, now. Because we put the jalapenos and we took all that stuff, mm. this is the best part. Okay. Look, we're gonna drizzle. The poi on top. Poi. This is Hawaiian style Nori's Kalua pig. Really? No. Yeah. I, yeah, because you Kalua actually is nachos. nachos, but it's Hawaiian. Yeah, okay. So, the idea is um, you don't have to do two chips. Okay, now, you yeah. just sit short. No, 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 you gotta leave it in there. What? You leave it in there, I'm not done. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, okay. This is a quesadilla. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this goes like this, right? Okay. We're putting the cheese. Okay. Because it's gonna melt it while, while it's nice and hot. Okay. Okay, like that. You see that, uh, she put the cheese on top here. You see, you see right over here, like just like yeah, that, okay? That, you know, and wait, you can, you can bake this. You can put it in the oven also. Yeah. Okay, so I'm putting that just to make it look pretty. Okay. Yeah, and this is first. Okay. Okay, look how nice. Does it look like a sandwich or you're not looking <laughs> okay, look okay, how pretty okay, it is. Okay, okay, okay. Look oh how pretty it is. Okay, you see, you see. Pig. Okay, well I like I like show these. Okay, this is the first one you did, right? Yes. The nachos, the kalua pig, your kalua pig. Yes. And you put some cheese and you put some of your um, nice lomi salmon on and you drizzle with some poi on. With the jalapenos. With the jalapenos. And, okay, I brought this because I wanted to show you can also, this is other things you can use. So this is guacamole, 
you can put it right there, okay? Because okay. then when you dip it, you can try all the stuff. Wow. Right? Wow. And you should use sour cream, but okay. um, I wanted to not use yeah, sour cream yeah, part yeah, yeah, yeah. because this is this is this good. Get, get enough stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, so you know, if, if this is all the ingredients, you mm. can just put whatever you want. Some people put other things like chili or beans or something, but you don't need to because of the Kahlua paint. You, you know, the good thing about this is that you know, like you, even a, a child can go, you don't have to put on your stove. See? Smart, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and if we had a microwave, you could have just put the chips and the cheese, heat it oh, up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Heat yeah, it up, yeah. and then we put all the stuff on yeah, top yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. this way, you get everything. So you get your lomi salmon, mm. you have your kalua pig, yeah. and you have your poi. Yeah. Yes? Yes. With a scooper. Yeah, yeah, so, and you got avocado, everything up there. Yes. Oh, man. So. You try it. But you have to try it with all the stuff. Oh my gosh, here we be 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 oh 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 No 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 you didn't get the meat wait hold up hold up there's the meat and then the oh jets that's the okay, only okay, thing okay, it's okay, messy okay. yeah Yeah Mmm <laughs> Mmm Oh yeah Mmm for real it is good I really like it like you this. Are, this is so on Yeah only now we're starting to do this. That's why I was. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even try. You, you gotta, it came out really good. He's gotta go on the menu right away. Yeah. No, because we sell the Kalua pig. Mm. So we figured, oh, if we do this, we make it as an appetizer, mm. and easy to eat, right? Mm. You know, share, mm. friends share. Mm. So that's good. All right. Oh, I'm so glad you like I it because it is. It's very good. And you know what? I think we went the healthier route. Mm. You know, mm. Mm. We, we went the healthier route. Mm. So. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, mm. right. Very good. Thank Man, you. Man, this is Ooh. so good. Okay. Mm. All right. Now wait. You get. You have to try this one because we, we're still doing the other stuff. Okay. So this, you could either just put this in the oven on a yeah. rack. Yeah. That way it gets crispy. Yeah. That was the idea. So they said this is like a quesadilla, but I don't yeah. know what a quesadilla is. So it's a half quesadilla. Okay. Okay. Because no the other half. So all I did was like this. It's like a it's like a sauceless pizza. That's what I thought it was. A what? A sauceless. No <laughs> sauce. Right? Oh man. Okay. Okay, you try that. You yeah. I think if you just fold it, makes it easier. It's like a uh, yeah. this, I don't know. This, this is how they eat it in, in New York. Really? Mm. Okay. Oh, oh man. man, this is so warm. I'm so glad. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. I like that. So we're gonna do the two because we couldn't decide which one was better. So mm. which one you like better? I like both. Yeah. Mmm. Okay. Well, that's good. But then that at least you get something healthy. I thought that was a good thing. We took out all the fat too. Yeah. Mmm. Uh -huh. The sauceless pizza. Sauceless wow. pizza. Unreal. Or a half a quesadilla. Half mm. a quesadilla. That's how you said? Mm. Quesadilla. Mm. Okay. Mm. That was it. Mm. Okay, not too bad. I know, look at that. We didn't even have to cook anything. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay, so okay. this is April. What? Yes. April showers bring Mayflower. Okay. And that's a great time for Siamese when, it, when it's raining. I know, yeah? it's, been, huh? it's been raining, yeah? You come out to North. Yay! Okay. Best time meeting in the world. All right. Okay, better. Very good. Tell you about it. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. April, happy April. April. Happy April. Hey, Mr. Malingas, the man himself. How are you doing? It was the 10th annual recognition dinner where the Hilo High School Foundation honored two very special people of the Hilo High School community our former community leader, Barry Taniguchi and former educator John Masuhara. These two individuals were not only very supportive of Hilo High School, but were major contributors to our island as well as the state of Hawaii. We were entertained by high school students, the Jazz Okados. <laughs>
I thought you guys just graduated from high school. Yeah, that's why. Okay, right. awesome. Yeah. Big chunk of footage. Everyone was having a wonderful time raising money for the Hilo High School Foundation to fund educational activities at Hilo High School that cannot be funded from State of Hawaii funds. There was a silent auction, t-shirt sale, and student exhibits. Oh yeah, I, you know, you're, you're the high bidder over there. Three items over here, right? No problem. Whose money are you going to use? Mommy's. Yes. Uh, uh. Okay, use mommy's money. Okay, give the big shaka for that. Yeah, okay. Come on, mommy, give the big shaka. Awesome. There again. I think everybody needs a Hilo High uh, Foundation polo shirt. Okay, Selling go on. Shirts, $20 on sale. Oh, yeah. Hey, Hilo High School Robotic Club. I got, I got one big question All for both right. of you. Yeah. Does the robot have name? Does the robot have a name? We do not have a name for it yet. You don't have a name no, yet? No, we do not. <laughs> we had a special treat. We had the Hilo High School Taiko Club. The drums were donated by money raised through this foundation dinner. graduates of Hilo High and Kamehameha. Awesome! That's a cuddles. Okay, we go see. Here's my classmate, the class of 69, encouraging everyone to come and join us next year for Hilo High School Foundation Dinner. Hey, here's the greatest class of all, Hilo High School Class of 69! Wave! Come on! Awesome.
dinner prepared by alumni Don Holt, the owner of Don's Grill, and served by Hilo High School Taiko Club and Hilo High Key Club, who also cleaned up after the event. Since 2011, we have been honoring outstanding Hilo High School alumni for their contribution to Hilo High School and our community. This year, we honored community leader Barry Taniguchi and educator John Masuhara. I want all of you to know that um, someone here this evening told me um, I'm so glad that we're here tonight to celebrate for John. I'm just sorry that he's not here to share tonight with us. I said, well, let me tell you something. If he was alive, he would not let you do this. He would not be here, and we would not be having this great time together. So I want to thank you for thinking of him and, and letting us all share a little bit about him with all of you tonight. Thank you. Um, on behalf of the family, I want to say from the bottom of our heart, uh, thank you so much for affording us the opportunity to be here and also wanted to congratulate uh, Ms. Masuhara and your family. It's quite an honor. Your husband is an incredible man, an amazing man, and I just want to um, say how much of an honor it is to be here with you folks, to be recognized. Um, you know, Newton is right. Uh, my dad had an affinity for Hilo Town. Uh, loved every single one of you here and uh, and loved this uh, loved this town and and again on behalf of the family we just want to say thank you so much uh, for honoring him and for affording us the opportunity to be here and yeah, thank you so much Good night. program and with the Hilo High School alma mater led by Tom Goya and the Hill High School Pizza. We taught Uncle Derek about hand washing, but what are other steps that people and the public can take to stop the spread of germs? So in addition to hand washing, if you don't have water uh, with you, uh, you might want to use uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Uh, that should be at least 60% alcohol content. Okay, so hand sanitizer is not a substitute for water. Uh, that's only, um, you should only use it if you don't have the access to water. And there are other, um, other prevention methods uh, that are very much uh, classic to flu prevention and that also applies to COVID-19. Uh, so one of them, avoid close contact with sick people. You want to avoid uh, yourself from sick people. And uh, when you cough or sneeze, uh, make sure you, that, uh, you cover your mouth uh, with tissue. Um, at home and at school, at work, uh, make sure that you clean the surface and uh, objects that are uh, often touched. And uh, stay home if you're sick, uh, that's important. You know, Yoshi, it reminds me of growing up, you know, in my old plantation days because, you know, everyone was really part of the solution. Everyone took responsibility to make sure that they, they protect others, not only themselves. So, you know, I think it's so important. But, you know, this information changes so often. Is there somewhere we can get really updated information? 
So uh, everyone can check uh, the website for um, Department of Health as well as Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, the information is changing every day, so definitely take a look and be updated on that. Oh, fantastic. Again, you know, everyone out there, hey, be responsible, not only for yourself, but also for others. Yeah. And that's how we're going to be very vigilant and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get, solving all these problems. That that's right. That's right. Now, as promised, I'll bring you the second half of the Kamana Karaoke Recital at the Auntie Sally's Luau Holly with MCs Emma Souza and Lance Okamura. So let's go on with the show. Under my skin. You know 
Oh my, oh my. Congratulations, karaoke singers. Aloha at the Hawaii Executive Conference. There was discussion about the high cost of living, making it very difficult for working families and students to thrive in Hawaii. As I reflect back to my plantation upbringing, although we lack financial resources, the sugar plantation was able to provide for us. I remember we paid a dollar a month for water, and we had a home that we rented for $21 a month, including all free repairs, their windows, their screens, and whatever. Free rubbish pickup, and we even had a garden in which we could grow our own vegetables. We live all as one family. We could live off the land, and everyone shared and help each other. The sugar plantation provided a gym, a ballpark, and the adults in the community volunteered to give us some special experiences like baseball, basketball, Aikido, Boy Scouts, Hula, and whatever activities, and it was all free. Today, with the high cost of living, it's quite impossible for working families and students to thrive here in Hawaii. So I was fortunate to have an opportunity to go to Pacific Music Production to record a one-minute radio spot. And here, let's go check it out. Aloha, this is Derek Carisu. Like lots of people in Hawaii Island, I grew up on the sugar plantation. I remember there were five of us children, along with our parents, living in a small two-bedroom house. I can't even imagine how we survived where money was never plentiful and only my dad working in a sugar factory and mom needed to take care of us five children. However, being resourceful together, we got by okay. We all got a good public education. My brother and I were brave enough to move to Oahu to attend the University of Hawaii where we needed to work full time to pay for our tuition, housing, and expenses. When I think about it, in those days with determination and hard work, it was much easier for people like us to improve our lifestyle. But now, it is very difficult and might not even be possible with such a high cost of living. Not only for financially strong means students, but it's so much harder for working families to get ahead. So this year, I applaud our great leaders from the State Senate, House, the Governor, who teamed up on legislation to make a difference. This 2020 Cost of Living Initiative helps to create affordable housing, improve public schools, provide preschool programs, and tax relief for working families. To a personal experience, I encourage everyone to support the 2020 Cost of Living Initiative. It's our kuleana to help give families opportunities to stay in Hawaii and thrive in Hawaii. Hey, guess what, man? I'm in the most unbelievable recording studio right here in downtown Chinatown. And what do we call this studio? Pacific Music Production. Okay, right. and we have? Hawaii Executive Collaborative 2020 Cost of Living Initiative. And Engineer Max. Dennis. Hey, you know what? Let's give everybody a big shaka. Yes. Hey. Uh, <laughs> support the initiative. What is it all about? Yes. It's about helping working class families and giving them a chance to thrive in Hawaii. Wow, thank you very much. And you know what? Thanks for making me sound good. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Big Saka again. Awesome. Welcome to April Senior Grind. This month, I visit Manono Marketplace. Check out Tetsumen Japanese Restaurant. There, I met the owner, Kosuke Isokawa, with his Geta footwear and with his deep voice creating an authentic Japanese restaurant atmosphere. Okay, Kosuke, what do you say when you walk in? Hi. Okay, here's the owner, Kosuke. Yeah, so, uh, how long you own this place? Uh, two years. Two years? Hi. Okay. So over the two years, you have new menu, you have new things going on. This is a very exciting restaurant. Hi. And you have, new, you have new manager. Hi. Namaiwa. Hi, Masa. 
Masa. Hi. Okay, we gonna we gonna go in and see what you're all about. Hey, guess what, man? I got the the manager here, uh, Marcin. He's a young guy. Hey, Marcin. I see your BUH uh, Hilo on campus. Yep. What are you majoring in? Uh, majoring in uh, business and con concentrating in finance. Holy moly, what is all this? Look at that. Yeah. So right here we got our potato salad and our cucumber bomb. Wow. Potato cool menu. Your potato salad. Look at, look at this baby here, man. Hey, it's so nicely made and you get all of these nice sprinkles on it. Onion. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Potato salad. Oh. Potato set. Oh, oh, man, this is so good. Hey, so what? I would be able to order take out on this. Of course, oh. not on anything. Mm. Mm. Now, what is this here? Cucumber bomb. So it's a little bit spicy, a little salty. Oh, this refreshing is refreshing for hot day. So, so this, this is actually one of a side dish. Yeah. Wow, cucumber bomb. Oh, 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 oh it's so good. Oh, huh. Oh. And with the meal, I mean, the meal is gonna subdue everything, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Now this is just a side dish. Just a side dish. Wow. You gotta wait for that. Oh, unbelievable. Right. And then this is. Oh, okay, so you got. What again? What was okay. this? This is a stamina bowl. It's pork and onions. Um, and topped with a poached egg, green onion, sesame seeds. This is really on the oh. And then over here we have the fried ramen. Similar to like yakisoba style. Uh, get noodles, veggies, pork. Green onion and then the red ginger over here. <laughs> you need to say, I, I, I'm going to have to eat all of it. Yeah. Oh man, what a job. Man, okay, let's try this baby. Wow, it's right. It's like a donburi, yeah? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I think I... Oh! Mmm! Oh! It's so perfect. We're not seasoning, eh? I'm good. It's perfect. I could just eat the rice. You know? I know. The rice. Is it's not sweet. Yeah. It's not salty. It's perfect. Mmm. 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 Oh. And you know the egg. You know the cook are perfect, too, no? Oh, man. Oh. Oh. There you go. Hey, you guys should try this. This is so ono. Oh! Mm. The flavor of the onions, the pork, and the sauce, and the egg, it's just like perfect, perfect. combination. Um, yeah, yeah? Yes. yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got some texture, you got everything in here. Oh, man. There you go, man. Mm. You can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I was really hungry. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, look at that. Oh man, I love noodles too. Oh. Mm. Oh. You know, you know the the sauce in there too. It's so different from the other one I just ate. You know, the flavoring is so so good. Unreal. Mmm. And the noodles is done just right. Yeah. And it matches everything else. The crispiness of the vegetable. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. But you are. 
So our hours is from 11 to 9 every day. Open every day. And then you guys can join us for happy hour from 2 to 5. Oh, you guys serve alcohol now? Yeah, we serve alcohol. Oh! Getting beer, um, and then we have our highballs. We have our shochu highball, and lemon shochu highball, and kaupiko highball. Oh, so now you... you <laughs> so perfect. Oh, I know. This with beer, and... Oh. So you serve beer and you get all these kind of food and you order for the kupu. So I can order something like this and get maybe a couple plates and then yeah. oh. oh! Oh! And you get all kind of different ramen and everything yeah. else in the regular menu. And I know that you have like uh, curries yeah. and yeah. Curry, curry lunch plates. We have the karage chicken. And tofu. We started serving tofu too. Nah. Vegetarian oh, so you got you got something for everybody. Yeah, for everybody. Yeah. yeah. We also have French fries for the kids. If they don't nah. ramen, you have French fries. Oh, oh. So, oh, no. they do have one. What? One. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, I put away the other two. I'm so full. I want to sleep in now. What you brought me here? So this is our tonton men Chinese style noodles. Um, comes with uh, minced pork, green onion, and then our soft ajitama on the side. Wow! This one has a little bit of cake and it's more creamy than our regular ramen, but this wow. one's very wow. hit the spot. Wow! Wow, man, this, this looks so good. Look at that. Everybody out there wondering, oh man, you need to eat some more. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, the flavor is so so different. It's like you have a little bit spice in there. It just wakes up your mouth, right? And 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 it, it tastes so so juicy and, and good. But it's not salty. It's not sweet. It's like perfect. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The nori. nori. What are you supposed to do with it? Just soak them up. Soak them up yeah, in your eye now. Okay. Best way. Mmm. Soaks mm. all the flavor. Mmm. Man, you know, it's so, so good. Look at that. And I love your noodles. You know, it's like perfect. You see? Okay. And it's yeah. cooked perfect. It's not like mashy, but but you, I would say you can cook them any way you want. Yeah, you can customize any way you want. Soft, normal, firm. Some people they even ask for like extra hard. Mmm. You like them crunchy? You can do them crunchy for you. Is that right? <laughs> wow. Oh man, I say ready to sleep, man. So, so what? <laughs> what? Right here is our shave ice. Oh. Okay, I cannot resist shave ice. This is called shiro kuma. Uh, kind of similar to shave ice here and now this is for my final dish oh oh you know you know the ice is so nice and fine and flaky mm. the raisins yeah peaches pineapples perfect way to cool your mouth after the mm. tantan man over there oh. This is like perfect. You know, I was so full. I ate so much stuff. But this, this one here just make your stomach feel happy. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh. Yeah, everything is so perfect, baby. Yeah, no. Everybody should come on now. Yes. Right? There you go, man. It's space here. The food is. Oh, for oh, no. man. Oh, <laughs> Guess what, man? This is the most ultimate place to eat. Where's it called? Texas. Texas. Where do we find it at? Okay, everybody, big shaka, big shaka, big shaka. Hey man, I'm uh, with the man over here. That guy was, he was, he was sailor. I mean, he was captain of the boat. That guy was surfer. He can go under water. This guy, hey, he's all Scuba about water. Scuba diver too. He's scuba diver. He's all about water. But you know what? We're surrounded by ocean here in Hawaii. Everybody get a, 
understand about how to swim. Yeah. It's a beautiful part about, especially yeah. Hawaii Island. Yeah. Beautiful. Everybody gotta learn how to swim. Yeah. So my friend there, Akimo, he with Hilo Ocean Adventures. You're located right across from Kent's Bank Kickout. So tell me about Hilo Ocean Adventure. Well, what Hilo Ocean Adventures is all about is about getting people to interact with our ocean environment. Wow. So we have all kinds of tours. We have tours that go up and down the coast. Wow. Right now we have whale watch tours wow. that is absolutely incredible. Wow. We also teach the little kinkies how to swim. Wow. And then after that, we teach the, the mothers that they can also get into the water with the kinkies because we have a swimming pool right in our shop. Oh my goodness. And it's a big swimming pool. Wow. And then after that, if they wanted to, they can learn how to scuba dive. We have wow. scuba diving classes. Wow. Wow. Scuba diving tools. Wow. We also rent snorkel equipment. We also have kayaks, stand up paddle boats, boogie boats, surf boats, the list goes on and on. And, and so on. You guys open every day? Every single day. Yeah, for what time? From 8 30 in the morning until closing, which is at 6, but we're usually there till 6 30. We also have boat snorkeling tours. Wow. We also have boat scuba diving wow. tours. Wow. And we also have, this is the latest craze, which is the deep sea fishing charter. Wow, deep sea fishing charter, but it's all out of Hilo. All out of Hilo. Wow, that's really awesome. And our boat is located at Slip 4 in the Wailoa Small Boat Harbor. Wow. And we also have a rigid inflatable boat. It's a 20 foot apex tender uh. that we take under the singing bridge. If wow. you can imagine that, under the singing wow. bridge, up the Wailuku River, wow. to the waterfall, wow. and swing it on the banyan tree vines. Wow. It's like... jumping into the water. Man. Un unbelievable. I'm going to get Derek out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people might see me there. Hey, look at the whale. The fuck I come in Hilo Bay. <laughs> but you, you know, you know what, Kimo? You guys are really on, on, on real. And you know, I know people went on you guys' adventure, and they had nothing but great things to, to say about it. But you know, like, so I understand you guys also do like. Uh, community foundation event. You guys yeah. give a lot back to the community. You yeah, we try to, in every way that we possibly can, give back to the community because it's it's you folks out there that actually help us. Ah. And so, for us to just keep taking, we, yeah. don't, we don't feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we want to give back. So local style. Local. Local style. style. Yeah. Hey, maybe you can tell me all about this mental restoration foundation. That well, what is it all about? Yeah, the Mental Restorations Foundation is a group of, of members from Hilo, from mm. the Big Island, uh, right uh, here, uh, right in our uh, own backyard. Uh. And many of them are return veterans. Uh. Many of them are also first responders wow. that have experienced or that have gone through some life changing experiences. Uh. Uh. And so, what we do is we help them to, to enable those individuals who have gone through life changing experiences to just cut loose for one day. Mm. They can come down to Hilo Ocean Adventures ah, ah. and they can book tours. Ah. And what, what we do is we have, have a site that uh, can accept donations. So the Mental Restorations Foundation group sends us the veterans if they want to go kayaking, if they want to go stand up paddle boarding, if they want to go snorkeling or learn how to scuba dive, it's free. Oh, great. It's great. all free for them. You know, Hilo Ocean Adventures, you guys do an awesome job. You guys really make Hilo what Hilo is. It's all about the water. It's all about fun in the water. Safe fun in the water, right? Yeah. So, you know, I want to thank you guys for all what you do. Well, man. I want to okay. thank you too, Derek. Thank you very because, much. You know, love hey. you. The man here, Kimo. Yeah, the I'm man. Here, <laughs> Big shaka, yes, Big shaka. Ah. We have a money saving idea for you. Be on butcher and save. At KTA Meat Department, we cut and slice anything for you. When you purchase a bulk package of meat and have it sliced your way, you not only save, but you'll have a customized cut just for you. I got a new product over here. It's called Beyond Butcher. It's like bulk meat, just like this, right? This is a choice New York strip. Um, it's about five and a half pounds. Uh, we priced it at like $8.99 a pound, so it comes out to almost $50.
Now, you need to buy the individual steak. It's like $14.97. It's almost $10 for it. It's a little over half pound of steak. So, you actually, you get about maybe $70 worth of steaks by being your own butcher. Okay, buy this at KTA. You can slice yourself. Some people want two inch steaks. Some want half inch. Some want one inch. Some want really thin. I mean, you can cut it the way you want. Or you ask our meat department and they'll definitely do that for you. Hey, Kapua. Yo. Be your own butcher. And what? Yes, yep, so come on down and we'll even cut it for you. <laughs> awesome. Old man down by the riverside. Old man down by the riverside Counting days Welcome to Behind the Camera. It is already April, and as they say, Counting April showers bring May flowers. Hilo rain is one of the most precious resource we have on Hawaii Island. It keeps our air and streets clean, Wow, that brings us this beautiful, lush, green environment that we have here in Hawaii. This month, as we gather to celebrate Easter, a time where families are able to get together and appreciate the most precious gift, the gift of family and friends. In this tough time, I am reminded how important it is, regardless of our differences, for everyone to come together and work together for a common cause. And it is everyone's responsibility to be responsible for yourself and be responsible for others. We need to take care of our kapunas who sacrificed and gave us those great values and lessons that made us what we are today. We need to take care of our keikis by creating a better place because they are our future generation. We are so lucky to be living here. As a girl who carries his name A love that grew so deep and so true Carved on a tree, dear I So if you see an old man down the road Thinking wrong, his mind is not cold Don't forget you carry his load On that day when you get old Look at my small girl, she's a big girl now, eh? You, so you were for Sita? Yes. Okay, yeah. what do you do here at Sita? Um, I'm Uncle Mike Dupont's um, intern now. Oh, you work with Mike Dupont? Yeah. Right, I remember you were a little girl, come shopping with your daddy. Huh? All the time. All okay, the time. big shaka, big shaka. I remember emceeing it. His name was Sharad, and I go, Ho, oh, what was your full name? Sarat Chandra Parasar Maraharta. Oh, yeah, he won a award. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Now I'm at College of Agriculture uh, at what, the UH Hilo. What are you teaching? I'm teaching horticulture, hydroponics, and a bunch of agriculture courses. Yeah, so everybody should go and sign up and go to go go and go and get an agriculture degree, sure, right? Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, big shaka. You know how to make shaka? Yeah. It's uh, awesome. Thank I'm you. at the Hawaii Beef Producer. I get the most beautiful ladies around. Give everybody the shaka. <laughs> they all want to wish their husbands. Oh, what? No. I love you! Come on down! Give your husband a big shaka! It's not the Horaka boy. Who do you want to tell everybody hi to? Come on, you uh, My name is Mel, and uh, let's say a shout out to um, the Kelohas, and the Achings, and the Kalabios, and the Punks. Oh, you relate to everybody. Yeah. Big shaka to all of them. Big shaka, big shaka. Right. That's the one. Look at my friend from Kyoka, she's big time, man. She's up here in the state capital. Hey, who you want to tell hi to? 
Uh, well, actually, my husband's still up there, so he's uh, Nathan Suganumas. Oh, you Suganuma! You Nathan! From wow! Kyokaha. Okay, yeah, come Proud on. To be. Give the big shaka to Nathan. Yes, hey, honey. Awesome. <laughs> And we have this special program over here trying to really, really make the community a better place. Come on, everybody. Hey, big shaka. Beach, anything you want to say? I don't know. This mayor thing doesn't work, uh, Derek. We're going to do a new show called Cleaning in Paradise. Okay, Cleaning in Paradise. <laughs> and, hey, police officer, she will watch. All good. All good. All good. Here's my favorite fan here. Huh? Be a part of our family. Okay. <laughs> And here's our former Waikiki High School teacher, Sia yes, Kau High School. Sia Kau and our students rock. Okay, big shaka, everybody. <laughs> hey, Sensei, you like Marimata, okay? Well, one day I saw you on Marimata, <laughs> yes, again. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you, your friend's gonna come from Japan? Yeah, Japan. Yeah. yeah, tell your friend something in Japanese. Hawaii ni te kudasai, matte ma. Okay, aloha. Shaka. I find my Magandan Balazan over here. Eh? 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 How come you know the word? Ah, Magandan, Magandan Balazan. Magandan Balazan. Yeah. Give the big shaka, give the big shaka. Yeah. Mabuhai. Mabuhai. And you see the man with the plane. Oh, 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 Okay, big shaka, big shaka, big shaka, yeah. yeah, awesome. Here's my friend here, she comes shopping every day at yeah, everywhere, KTA. everywhere, at KTA, big shaka, big shaka. Okay, okay, guess what, man, my friend's gonna make funny face, come on, funny face, yeah, awesome. Okay, what do you guys want to tell everyone out there, aloha. Aloha. Okay, aloha. Awesome. And I got my man here, George. Hey, George, what do you want to tell them about there? I want to tell everybody out there to stay healthy, stay strong, and take care of each other. And give the shot, all right? Yeah. And give the shot. Awesome. Thank you for watching Behind the Camera. Before we go, we want to thank our volunteer cameraman, George and Shirley Ito. Thank you for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise. We'll see you tomorrow night. Aloha!